Welcome back everyone to part two of my two million dollars in 90 days case study. If you saw part one, you would have seen I broke down my entire Google Ads strategy that contributed towards this two million dollars in revenue in the 90 days. And as promised, part two is gonna be Facebook ads because we are now spending more a day on Facebook ads for my business. So I think it'd be a waste, even though I mainly do Google Ads videos, I think it'd be a waste to not share this with you anyway, because one key thing to take away from this is don't rely on one ad platform, diversify and this is exactly how my business has managed to grow over the last year or two. But just before we do jump into it, if you are struggling with Google Ads and need a team to help you either get off the ground or scale profitably, then check out the link in the description for my Google Ads agency. Just fill out the form on the homepage if you wanna work with us and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Okay, so you would have seen in part one, I broke down the figures of the 90 days on Shopify. We'd achieved just over $2 million, but we are gonna focus towards the end of 2023 on this Facebook ad account. So you can see top right here, we have got 1st of November to the end of the year, which is 31st of December. So key things I'm gonna be covering are the creative side of things, targeting, retargeting. This isn't gonna be a complicated video because I find with Facebook, the less complicated you are, the more you can scale and the more you will succeed. It's still definitely worth taking notes on this, but yeah, let's go. Now, one key area that I had issues with last year is testing new creatives on Facebook. Now, often when you're using, uh, you know, CBO campaign type or even ABO campaign type, if you're just adding new ads into your existing campaigns and into your existing ad sets, Facebook doesn't always guarantee budget is gonna go towards those new creatives. Now, that is simply because there's already gonna be an ad within that ad set that is already gathering data, whether that is just link clicks, you know, it might be purchases as well. So Facebook is gonna want to put your budget towards something they're already familiar with. So adding new ads into campaigns often results in, you know, either zero or really low spend and impressions, which is very frustrating, especially when you spend time making new ads. This is something that really frustrated me at the start of 2023, but I introduced a new campaign type within my account that allow me to easily test new creatives, guarantee that they do spend and get budget and it allowed me to scale even further because we scale directly within this campaign as well so if we just hop into my ad account here for example my highest daily uh, budget campaign is this bottom one here now there are you know a lot of creatives already in this campaign if i went in today and added a new ad into this campaign i could almost guarantee you it's not going to get any spend any impressions whatsoever so what I have done, and this applies to all campaigns, I have made a new, what I call ABO creative testing campaign. So we click this campaign here, you can see it's ABO, not CBO. We currently have six ad sets running and you know, tally these budgets up, quite a significant daily budget on here. And each of these ad sets essentially have one to two new creatives within them. And then we can gradually scale these budgets up if those creatives do well, because like I said, they're in here to guarantee spend. They're not competing with existing creatives in like the CBO campaigns which are eating all the budget and it is allowed me to find new winners new types of ads even new landing pages that I'm able to test in this campaign and it is honestly the best thing probably that happened to my Facebook ads in 2023 which allowed me to have a just incredible Q4 so let's take this ad set here as an example so this is the same product that I was referring to earlier in that big CBO campaign I wanted to test a custom built landing page for this product with gem pages there's a few variants to this product I wanted to test a collection theme landing page but adding not just your typical Shopify landing page for collections you know adding a few sort of badges a nice you know image banner and things like that and just a few extra things to make it enticing to the visitor to hopefully obviously increase the conversion rate and it was a good way to show the other versions of this particular product on one page rather than just directing people to the product page which is what obviously most people do with Facebook so you can see here from the 1st of November to the 31st of December this ad set alone generated me four 445 tracked purchases. We all know Facebook tracking is terrible, but anyway, so you can see 68 pound per purchase, amount spent 30,000 pounds with a nice 2.2 ROAS. Again, that is a 2.2 tracked ROAS. So even at a break even ROAS of this, which is about a 1.45 to 1.5, getting a tracked ROAS of 2.2, it's probably more about a 2.75 considering everything that this probably generated for us. It was an incredibly profitable ad set. And like I said, I simply tested a new image ad for this product. And instead of just directing that ad to the product page, you know, the basic Shopify product page, I, like I said, made 
made a collection landing page on gem pages something a bit different a few extra images and it obviously converted incredibly well and if we just scroll across to some of the other metrics here this is all target in us 15 pound cpm really really good and again a similar sort of thing applies to these ad sets here most of these are for the same product again but it's just allowing me to test different ads in each ad set like i said i can't stress enough just to guarantee that ad spend for new creatives because let's be honest you don't want to spend hours and hours making new image ads or video ads and put them on facebook just for them to not get impressions so this is not only how you resolve that but this is how you can scale further because you're guaranteeing that spend quickly on any new ads you want to test now very briefly i want to touch on retargeting this is something that I used for, crikey, uh, five years probably on Facebook since I started back in 2018, 2017. But I now no longer run retargeting specific campaigns on my account. And that is simply because of the way I target my ad sets and campaigns. There is no need to have a separate retargeting campaign because Facebook just do it all for me in one ad set slash campaign. And I guess an easy way to sort of confirm that it is retargeting for you is by checking the frequency column. If you don't know what the frequency column refers to it's essentially how many times the average person has seen your ad so if we do this bottom campaign here the frequency between the dates above is 1.88 which means the average person who saw this ad saw it 1.88 so nearly two times which means facebook are delivering the ad to the same people which is essentially retargeting anyway and obviously if you scroll and just look up this list you can see some campaigns are much higher than others and having a high frequency isn't always a bad thing especially when you're selling high ticket products you need those additional touch points with people that people aren't going to impact pulse buy high ticket products you need those continuous touch points with the buyer to encourage them to purchase because like i said they're not going to do it the first time around seeing your ad now moving on to targeting straight off the bat i don't target anything myself on facebook anymore i don't include custom audiences i don't include lookalike audiences i don't include uh you know suggested uh, interest audiences completely broad and again that goes back to retargeting having it completely broad you're essentially given permission and the freedom to facebook to use the power of their machine learning to just do it all for you and facebook knows better than you at this point who your ideal customer is who your customer looks like they will know who to target for your ads so essentially the more data your facebook pixel gathers over time the more facebook understands about your business and your product and the better they will do making it easier essentially for facebook to target for you now if we go to this top campaign here this is the advantage plus campaign that i've been testing um so if I click it here, it's just one ad set. So essentially to get this type of campaign, you click the green create campaign button, select your objective, which for me is sales. You're greeted with this screen here. Selecting this top option, Advantage Plus Shopping Campaign is what this campaign is. And I'll explain more about the results I've gotten with it and how it works. It is essentially a fully automated campaign with placements, targeting, and things like that. And when you create this campaign, it will allow you to import already high performing ads into this. Facebook will you know, recommend your best performing ads. You put them into this and it it will essentially automate and run itself without really any interference the only obviously thing you need to do set the daily budget and adjust that up or down based on the results you're seeing so if i open it up it's just the one ad set here and uh you can see between the first of november and again 31st of december 303 purchases at a tracked rise of 2.53 now again this is fully automated this is fully broad targeting and i know it is tough for beginners with facebook who you know are just starting fresh there's no pixel data there's no customer data or any anything within the account that is going to help you get off the ground but I can't stress enough it's one of those things if you stick at it it really does become incredibly profitable in the long run you know me just like everyone else when I first started this business and I first started with Facebook I was running at a loss on Facebook but obviously you can see things have completely changed now and just one final point on these advantage plus campaigns you don't always have to use the advantage plus campaign type in a normal abo or cbo campaign within each ad set you can turn on advantage plus audiences within that and that will be your targeting you know for that ad set and that's something i've used across all of the campaigns that are running now uh, again it's just one of those broad fully automated targeting methods that again uses the power of facebook's machine learning and it just does the rest for you so that is something to note you don't have to use this campaign type to make the most of those broad automated advantage plus audiences now i want to quickly talk about creatives and a personal experience and i'm going to show you an example of a creative that led me to spending seven eight hundred pounds on a product i'll explain my journey and i'll just you know show you an example of a very simple but very effective creative now personally image ads work best for me now i know video ads work 
very well for a lot of people. I've had successful video ads in my you know business, but I would probably say about 95% of the active ads in this account are just simple picture ads. Now, that doesn't mean you just throw up any picture of your product and hope it does well. It's got to be a good picture, you know, high quality, no sort of blurry AliExpress, you know, images. It's just, it's just not going to work. So you have to take time, you have to take effort, and you might even have to spend money to get help to, you know, produce these high quality images. But don't go into Facebook essentially thinking you need, you know, some insane video ads you really don't so that's just something to know now i was sucked into marketing funnels by a million and one mattress brand in the uk because me and my partner we were looking for a new mattress for our bed and the second i made a google search you guys know how it is i was hit with loads of you know instagram facebook ads for um different brands but this one stood out for me um one the color scheme is so clean you can see the ad here it's so simple you know short sweet simple copy it's got trust elements with their trust pilot rating which for me as a customer really you know builds that instant trust and if your business has you know legitimate reviews on these external websites like Trustpilot is very big in the UK display this on your ads display it on your website for my um, UK business I have my Trustpilot rating on the product page I have it on the checkout page with Shopify plus I was able to you know customize my checkout to include my Shopify Trustpilot rating it just builds that immediate trust with people who don't necessarily know your brand and people who've never heard of you before if they see that trust pilot rating with the you know four and a half five green stars it is honestly such a boost for that potential customer to then you know make a purchase so ultimately this was the ad i probably saw the most from this company and after about two weeks you know i ended up buying one of their products which was obviously a mattress and i looked on their ads library they're running only about eight different ad creatives this is like i said the one i saw the most and all of those ad creators like I said earlier were just static image ads like this just a little bit of text on it you know a decent offer it was their Black Friday offer their winter offer so I can't imagine how many other people this ad has converted and I wanted to show you this because it is just such a good example that simple really does work with Facebook but simple doesn't mean effortless and lazy it means you know clean trustworthy and again like I said this is just a prime example of a really good Facebook ad that converts incredibly well I guess a lot of people are going to have questions about daily budgets and things like that and you know people comment on my videos about beginner methods and I will be making beginner friendly videos on Google and Facebook you know for me it's hard to say what you should go in at with Facebook ads that's entirely your call and you know better than anyone else what you'd be comfortable essentially losing each day if these ads didn't perform for you but when I'm testing a new product or a new ad creative I don't go in lower than sort of 75 100 pound a day budget on you know a campaign or an ad set depending on what testing method i'm using but going back to what i said earlier it's really important to not give up with facebook the start is going to be rough that is the truth and that's going to be the case with most businesses on facebook it's very competitive you've got to do something to stand out and you've got to spend that money on facebook to gather that data and momentum with you know the pixel and the machine learning and i guess another point with the budget thing with facebook is you know when to scale how much to scale by you know people say oh you shouldn't do more than 20 percent every seven days or whatever for me i don't have any sort of mathematical formula or equation or schedule to follow i will look at my ads every day if they're performing well sort of over the past two three days i will just increase the budget by something i'd be comfortable with i mean let's take this campaign here for example i wouldn't double this budget to sort of 1700 pound a day i would potentially increase it up to let's say 1300 pound a day that's sort of the biggest jump i would do in terms of percentage but i could do that 1300 pound increase today and if it's still doing well tomorrow i could then put it up to you know 1800 you know potentially even 2000 pounds a day that's how quickly i have scaled these budgets especially in q4 so i guess the point in that is don't overthink it it's not the end of the world if you don't follow some sort of percentage rule or time frame rule if the data you're seeing is good on your screen and it feels right that you know that you can scale and and see better results then just do it just don't be afraid just do it what is the worst that can happen so i feel like i've covered the main points that have got me to where i am now with facebook i'm sure a lot of you are going to have questions about you know my strategy the ad account and things like that so yeah just drop your questions down below i'll try and answer as many as possible and probably after this video you'll see a couple of more beginner friendly videos with you know lower budget strategies for facebook and google as well if you do want to work with my google ads agency ad raw please click the link and fill out the form on the website we are taking on a few clients in 2024 so be sure to check that out if you are new around here please subscribe thank you very much watching and i'll see you in my next video